YouTube fam was Man, where is the time going, y'all, man? What's going on? It's your boy Jay, the sneaker guy. Coming at y'all with yet some more sneaker content, man. We got some more kicks to talk about because, you know, them kicks keep rolling in. So the content got to keep rolling out, man. All I need for y'all to do is always go ahead and start the video off by smashing that like button, man. Run the likes up for your boy Jay. It's a lot going on this week, man. We got a busy week um, starting, starting with the upcoming Air Jordan 1 Low Life. Bang! Travis Scott's, y'all. This is set to release here in a couple days. Hopefully, it's not showing up on the sneakers app at the time I'm making this video, but everything is still supposed to be happening, man. The release date of these will be April 26th. $160. Of course, this is a women's exclusive. So for all my men out there who don't do the women's shoes, hey, we gonna exclude y'all from this one. But everyone else who uh, is like Travis Scott, because Travis Scott did wear this shoe, yeah, he wore this shoe, but um, if y'all are like, you know, just don't care, you know, you can rock whatever you feel like you want to rock, this will be available up to a size 15, I want to say, and a half, which is a 14 in men's, man. So if you wear up to a size 14, you should be in the green, but those bigger sizes will be hard to get, man. But quick briefing, I just wanted to show y'all some of the new new that is coming to the channel soon, so stay tuned for this one. And um, I do have a shoe that is releasing very soon, as you can see right here, man, it is releasing this upcoming weekend. We about to dive into that. Before we dive into that, man, we gotta give a big shout out to the sponsors of today's video. Outrank Brand. If you know, you know, man. Shout out to Outrank Brand. They are the clothing company that always keeps your boy in the flyest and latest gear to go up my kicks, man. So what I do have on today is a online exclusive, very limited collection that will be releasing on OutrankBrand.com. This is coming this upcoming weekend alongside the air jordan 3 wizards that's what i have in the box i spilled the beans already man but this does go with the air jordan 3 wizards you will see how it pairs up as i bring those out the box here shortly but it does come with the hat as you can see that says outranked right there in that blue writing so outrank written in the blue then you do have the side logo patch that says outrank and it does have that you know what i'm saying that what is that? Uh, it's not a wish. It's a wizard, I want to say, or something like that. Or, well, yeah, a magician. You know what I'm saying? But you got that. And on the back, bro, one of my favorite slogans, man. Take a look at that. So it, it says, if you want it, Whoa, or it says, it's not magic. I'm tripping. I'm, 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 you know what I'm saying? I'm too far ahead. But it's not magic. If you want it, work for it. Basically, man. So, man, if that's not a golden slogan, bro, anything in life, bro, if you want it, work for it. You can get it. Nothing is in possible nothing is unachievable work for it you can get it man so shout out to today's sponsors outrank brand as always for keeping your boy fly man but besides all that quick unboxing man i'm gonna, I'm gonna hit y'all with a quick unboxing i've had this shoe for like two weeks bro and i ain't even showed it to y'all man let's get to it appreciate y'all Hey man, so like I did say, bro, I've literally had this shoe for like two, maybe three weeks, bro. I had it for a minute, and I had my eyes on this shoe. This shoe is making a return, bro. It is making a return, and I'm here for it. Um, I'm a big fan of this shoe, this uh, silhouette. I did rock them a lot back in the day before I was on YouTube. Um, since I've been on YouTube, I don't think I reviewed any of these types of shoes, man. But look forward to them coming back real soon because your boy is going to be picking up quite a few of these. And we just got some recent news of a highly, highly anticipated colorway of this shoe that is supposed to be releasing in 2024, man. But pop it, open the box, man. Where did I get this from? Okay, forgot where I got it from, but it says it right here on the top, man. So this is the packaging. As you can see from the top, um, it does have some bubble wrap and you do have a sticker right here so this came from sneaker politics man so sneaker politics is where i got this what is this this is dennis rodman i don't know it gave me like a sticker or a tattoo or something of dennis rodman it says politics on it we ain't worried about that it did give me my receipt receipts are good so it did come with my receipt bubble wrapping i did show y'all that already and now for the kicks so it does come in an all black, all over box. As you can see, glossy Nike. You see my light back there, man. But this is the Air. Foam Posit 1. Color blocking is white, metallic, silver, black. Man, I told y'all your boy was going to be doubling back for this shoe because I think that this shoe is dope, man. Real quick, once I pop it out, man, pause. Y'all let me know 
do I need to throw these on feet? I don't think I'm gonna go like crazy with it. I'll probably do like an eight minute video, something short, showing y'all all on feet with them, man. Y'all let me know if I need to do it or not, or just skip over them, man. But um, lot number on the lid right there in the corner in blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the kicks that I do have, man, nice Nike writing on the paper, as you can see. Or maybe not, yeah. It does have Nike printing all throughout that paper, very, very lightly, you know what I'm saying? But the shoe that I got is the Air Phone Posit 1. Ooh, bang! Penny PE, man. So I had to go back and grab these. They were still available. One of the few places, one of the few places that still had them was Sneaker Politics, man. So in the size that I wanted, man. If y'all seen earlier, I showed y'all the size tag. I did get a size nine and a half because on Phone Posit, you have to go up half size in my opinion. I don't know how you can go true to size in them, but if you can go true to size on them, hey, you got a special type of feet because I cannot do true to size. I gotta go up half to a full size, man, but bang! Here they go right here, the all white Nike Phone Posit 1 Penny PEs. I just think that this shoe was a clean, clean looking shoe, man. Um, All over white with the black hits. A lot of people say they don't like that leather hit around the top front of the shoe, man, and I think, I think that's hard, bro. I think that's hard, man. But the Penny Phone Posit PE joints, bro. Look at the back. Dope, man. It's, it's just dope all around, if you ask me, man. Is it showing up? Yeah. It's just a dope shoe all around, in my opinion. Nice outlining in that light blue. Of course, the same thing. Light blue right there on that tongue. That stripe, man. I think that these are cold, man. I do have a lace swap idea for these. I already got it. My lace is over there, man. So, I might swap them out, too, and do all that good stuff, man. But, clean shoe, in my opinion. Phone posits are coming back with Avengers. I just hope Nike doesn't flood the market like how they did with the Airmark Tempos, man. But, um, yeah, I know y'all are ready to see the shoe right here because y'all gonna be like, y'all, you done got six, seven minutes in the video and you ain't showed the shoe. Man, I gotta do a lot of catching up, man. I got a lot of shoes over here that I ain't showed y'all, man. But, anyways, let's jump right into the topic at hand, which is the shoe that is releasing this weekend. I just wanted to let y'all know that the Penny Phone Posit Ones are in the building, man. Let me know if I need to do that on feet. But other than that, let's get to them. Bang, man. So here we go right here. As you can see, special packaging, man. So once upon a time, back in the days when we did get like PEs, I mean, that's not really a PE. It is a colorway based off of an NBA team, but it's not a PE, say. But back in the day, man, we didn't get, you know, special boxes like this. We just got a plain black box. But on this one, we do got a little bit of blue, a little bit of cement printed, a little bit of that Wizards, uh, bronze to say you know what i'm saying so hey you can already see it bro look how i go with the tee the bronze on the tee the brunt man come on bro girl y'all one of these tees but anyways popping up well real quick real quick size tag reads air jordan 3 retro color blocking is white metallic copper so that is the correct uh color copper not bronze when you pop open the lid there will be a lot number all that good stuff so lot numbers are still on the box cement printing and the kicks man Ooh, bang! The Air Jordan 3 Wizard PEs. Now, this shoe, man, this shoe, uh, in my opinion, it looks familiar. Of course, you guys, you know, a lot of people have been comparing these to the Air Jordan 3 True Blue. That of which I don't own, and I don't own or never own the Air Jordan 3 True Blues. I would love to have had them, but I never uh, got around to owning that shoe. And I remember once upon a time, man, them True Blues was like sitting, they were going for dirt cheap, all that good stuff. But your boy Jay just never, never got a pair, man. Um, I just wasn't into it at that time, man. But I do have these, and this is a very, very good close second to that shoe, in my opinion. And um, these ain't bad, man. Bang! The Air Jordan 3 Wizards PE, as you can see, clean, man. It, it, it almost looks like, you know what I'm saying, a true blue from just this angle, man. I don't have a true blue or really can visualize what one looks like in hand, man. So I'm just going based off of what I remember of that shoe. I'm pretty sure that the blues are different, but um, it, it looks it looks pretty close to me, man. Um, But here they go right here, the Wizards PE. And first things first, man, of course, there will be tons of quality control issues with this shoe, man. We already know a uh, stemming back to the Air Jordan 3 reimagine um those you know what I'm saying uh had very very bad quality control issues when it came to the elephant print I'm pretty sure we're gonna see the same thing with the inconsistencies of the elephant print on these shoes man so I, I already I already can actually see it too man taking a look at the inside you can kind of see my pair has one lighter than the other man so I already know what time it's gonna be with this shoe man so it's like ah ah 
it is what it is, man. But I think it's still a clean shoe. Um, you know, just if you could, I always gotta tell y'all, if you're able to look at the pair before you buy it, I would recommend doing that. But um, overall, I think that the Air Jordan 3 Wizards PE is a solid looking shoe. You do got that uh, copper, as they're calling it. You know what I'm saying? Copper jump, man, right there on the front. Elephant print going around the uh, lace area right there with perforated holes man that's kind of different i don't recall yeah usually your air jordan um threes let me grab this pair real quick your air jordan threes does not come with perforated holes around that lace area right there but these do have perforated holes going around that lace area and man bro such a clean shoe man yeah i think it's time to retro the knicks air jordan threes man this shoe right here is fire man but leather man the leather on these next threes was was killing it back then man this is some great quality on the air jordan 3 this however very average nothing special about it in my opinion man so very average leather on the wizards pe so don't expect nothing too crazy it just has a very very overly synthetic look man and as i'm looking at both shoes bro i can see two differences like one is way more tumbled than the other i don't know if it's picking up on camera but one is way more tumbled than than the other pair man but it is what it is i think once they're on feet you ain't even gonna be able to notice it you know what i'm saying so i think that they're a solid shoe i'm not mad at these at all like i did say these are releasing this upcoming weekend um saturday april 29th retail price on these i want to say will be 210 are they 210 if they 210 that's kind of of course i didn't pay retail that's why i don't know what the price is on these but i think they'll be somewhere around that and i do think that these will sell fairly good of course they're gonna sell out on the sneakers app and in stores of course they'll sit in certain places they'll sell out in certain places it just depends on location man but for the most part i think that these are gonna sell pretty good man um i wouldn't pay too crazy nothing over like 250 for resale on them, but that's just me man but y'all let me know y'all thoughts and opinions on the wizards air jordan 3 pe and other than that man your boy jay has got to check out with them man appreciate y'all for watching sorry that i got to the shoes late you know what i'm saying but i got a lot of stuff i gotta catch up with so i gotta squeeze them in when i can but other than that man early look i got some more early threes on the way if you know you know i got some early jordan ones on the way i got bruh i got heat on the way man so make sure y'all smash that like button i'm gonna try to get this reviewing on feet i will Put, hold me to it. I will get the reviewing on feet out to y'all before these release. As well as we're going to try to hit y'all with the Travis Scott reverse. Or not reverse. The olives. The olive Travis Scott video should be coming out like maybe tomorrow or so, man. So stay tuned for that. Your boy Jay is gone with these. The Wizards 3 PEs. Solid shoe in my opinion. Must cop for your boy Jay. I don't own True Blues. And other than that, man, I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Y'all stay blessed. Gone. Peace.